Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today is MPC Friday, and we are going to show you all how to layer your drums in MPC Studio. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, if you look at pad A1, you'll see I only have one sound on there, a tom. Now, Let's say I like how that sounds, but I think I can spice it up a little bit and make it more unique if I layer it with a couple more sounds. Not to worry, all you have to do is go to Program Edit. And at Program Edit, make sure the master button is on Poly so that you can add multiple sounds to one pad and make sure that they hit at the same time. Alright? So, the master button is on Poly for the polyphony. Now, we just go down to Inserts 1 through 4 and we manually add our sounds. Then we can go back to the sequencing screen, hit the pad and see how it sounds with all of our new sounds. And notice if you look at the pad now, it now has four sounds listed instead of one. Four is the maximum amount that the pad allows given the MPC Studio software and it's actually pretty good. So with some layering tricks, EQing, panning and whatnot, we can really spice this drum up. So let's hear how it sounds now. I think that sounds really good. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a way of layering your drum drums that's a lot quicker than actually manually having to do it. So let's load up a random drum for our MPC drum content. Okay, here we have another drum added up. Now, if I want to layer this, all I really have to do if I know what drums I want is go to the sidebar menu, click the drum, hold shift over the pad, and it'll add it as a layer for me. You see the red flashing now? And there you see the MPC Studio software just added that layer for me. And there you have it. In a nutshell, that's pretty much how you layer your drums. In a separate tutorial, I'll show you all some advanced tricks with layering to make the drums really punch and to add some uniqueness to them. But if you just want to get started with your kick drums, you can do some simple panning and turning down and leveling and whatnot to make them sound full and to give them a lot of bottom in. And there you have it, my friends. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Also, tell a friend to tell a friend. It's Drum Machine Addicts, and we will see you again for MPC Fridays. Peace.